I'm going to show you how to make a placemat hammock. This is a round, it's not wicker, but it's definitely like a woven material that has been stitched into a spiral. And I have added little loops to hang it, and I'll show it to you hung up in a second. We have one over here. I'm going to put, I have pinned my loops. I like mine big because I have had too many that do not work well when the loops are too small. So we're going to stitch over this with a zigzag stitch. Um, I'm using number three, which is a zigzag stitch. My tension is set at three. Um, my stitch length and my other tension is set at three as well. So we're going to stitch over the loop and back it up. two choices here. You can stop, lift your needle, cut your thread, move to the next one. I'm going to cheat because I don't want a million thread bends, so this is what I'm going to do. Now I've stitched all the way around to the next one. I'm going to repeat what I just did. To the next one. Now we're at loop number three. Sewing with one hand is tricky. Oh, and just for the record, I am using a... Actually, I'm using a stretch needle for lightweight fabrics, but it should have been a woven one. I thought I had a woven one in there. So, yeah. Woven needle would be better. Okay. Now we're going to lift the presser foot. Cut our thread. Ouch. Poke yourself on the pins. Now, I take my little two threads. I have two for the top, two for the bottom. As opposed to four for each side of the loop. Um, for each loop, I would have four if I stopped and started at each one and just clipped in between. Um... I am going to tie these in a knot very, very close to my fabric and then clip it. I'll show you what that's like. So I've tied the knot very close. Now I'm just going to clip it right here and that's it. I have one to hang up.